Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cal mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from Slide Cow. My name is Yo-Yo and together we're going to make your slides amazing. In this week's video, we are going to create a gorgeous PowerPoint slide that portrays a list. It is so easy to do. It's almost stupidly easy to do. And we're going to do everything in less than 10 minutes. Let's get started. Step one, find the background picture for your PowerPoint slide. Okay, so assuming that you have a blank slide right in front of you, the first thing you want to do is you want to find a background image. Now, background images are all over the web. You want something that is high quality, high resolution, and speaks volumes about your work. If you're looking for some websites that will help you find the perfect image for your PowerPoint slide, then check out the blog post that Slack has made some time ago. Review it because I list four awesome websites that will give you free stock images. I repeat this, free high resolution stock images. For right now, I'm just gonna be using this image over here. And what we're going to do is we're just gonna blow it up like this. And we're gonna bring it up over here. Then with the picture still selected, we're gonna go to format, we're gonna go to crop, and we're gonna bring this down over here. And there we go. The goal here is to make sure that the image takes over the entire slide. And we don't wanna stretch it out, we just want to blow it up and then crop into the slide canvas. Step two, add the overlay and the title. All right, so to do this step, all you have to do is you just have to duplicate this image and make sure it completely overlaps your previous image just like this, right? Now, I know what you're thinking, just hold on, I'll explain everything later. With the new image still selected, let's just close design ideas, I hate design ideas. Anyway, with this new image still selected, all you have to do is press shift and then press down twice, just like that, right? Now, go to insert, go to shapes, and then click on this rectangle over here and draw over this exact same image that you had over here. So you might be asking, why did I just do that? Well, I wanted the perfect aspect ratio for this overlay effect, right? I wanted to make sure that we have a rectangle that matches the aspect ratio of the image behind. Now, there are many ways to do this. This is my preferred way. This is, this is my way of making sure things are in check. So I'm going to press Control X on this rectangle. I'm going to delete the image we just made, and I'm gonna press Control V to bring that rectangle back in. I'm gonna to go to format and I'm going to remove the shape outline. I'm going to make it black and I'm going to go to shape fill, um, go to more fill colors and set the transparency to 15%. Boom, beautiful. The second thing I wanna do now is I wanna bring in my title. But before we do that, I just wanna make sure that we have the right guidelines in place, right? I want my title to be on the left side of the slide, but I don't want it to take up the entire left side of the slide. I just want the specific portion of the left side of the slide left side of the slide to sort of have that title in place. So I'm gonna hold control on this guideline that I set over here and I'm gonna move it to the left until I get two centimeters, right? Now it might vary for inches. You don't have to look for something exact, but this is sort of what you're going for. This is what you need. So now I can go to insert. I'm gonna to go to text box. I'm just gonna draw the text box just like this and I'm gonna type in place your awesome title over here, period. I'm gonna make it white, like you see here. I'm going to actually make it uppercase, and I'm also gonna click over here. These, this is the character spacing module. I'm gonna click that, and I'm gonna click loose, all right? Uh, I'm gonna change the font to Arial, let's say Nova. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm gonna make it bold, and I'm gonna set the font size to around 28. Perfect, okay. So now I'm just gonna stretch it out like this. Beautiful, I love this but I think that we can still play around with the spacing just a bit between the, between the, uh, um, between the characters, it's, uh, at least vertically. So uh, I'm gonna highlight everything and I'm gonna go to, let's go to uh, line spacing. I'm gonna go to line spacing options. I'm gonna click on multiple and I'm gonna set that at 1.25, press enter. Perfect, okay, I think that looks absolutely gorgeous and I think we are good to go from there. Now, I'm gonna go to insert and I'm gonna click on shapes. I'm gonna click on this rectangle over here and I'm just gonna draw out a thin rectangle just like that, okay? And I'm going to click on no outline, 
just going to do that. And finally, I'm going to make it this color. Beautiful. All right. So actually, I can bring that down just a bit more. Beautiful. I love that. Now, I understand the spacing is a bit off. Don't worry about it. We're going to fix that in just a bit. Now that I think about it, I can just bring that down just a bit more. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Step three, add the text and icons. All right. So this step is really simple, but you need to know how to bring in editable icons. And by editable icons, I mean icons like these. Look at this, guys. You could change the color. You could add an outline. You could make it like this. You could make it like this. You could do whatever you'd like. That's what I mean by editable icons. If you do not have the insert icons button in your PowerPoint software, and if you do not know how to bring in icons just like these, these are not images, into your PowerPoint slide, then please click on the link in the description and I will show you exactly how to bring in icons just like these into your PowerPoint slides. But for right now, I'm gonna be using these icons that you see right over here. So what you need to do is really simple. Just go to insert, click on text box and just draw the text box just like that. Uh, I'm just going to type in some gibberish, which is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna hit that at, at 12 points, I think. Yeah, 12 points sounds good. I'm going to just decrease the size here. I'm going to move this to the left a bit. And I'm also going to bring in one of my icons that you see over there. All right. So I think that's a little bit too long, so I'm just gonna make that a bit shorter. So I think that this looks absolutely fine. So with that done, uh, I'm just going to make sure that everything's aligned to the left by highlighting both my icon and the text and going to arrange a line, a line left. And I'm just gonna group that up like you see over here. Now don't worry about positioning too much. Spacing, you do need to worry about. You don't wanna have like, you know, something like this or something. Just make sure everything's within the little black overlay that we made. But uh, just press Control shift and just move this to the right over here. I think that should do fine. Let's just move that just a bit to the left over here, which means I have to move the placeholder a bit to the left as well. Yeah, I think that looks good. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're just going to bring these two guys down over here. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, I have four text placeholders, which means now I can ungroup these guys, just like you see here and uh, I'm just going to bring in my other icons. So it's a bit tricky to make sure that the icons are aligned the way you want them to uh, be aligned, um, but you could, you, could, you could play around with it and you could see what you can get. Don't worry about it too much. So I'm going to highlight both of these guys here and make sure that I'm going to arrange, align, align, middle. Do the same thing for these two guys over here. Arrange, align, align, middle, perfect. Um, I just wanna make sure my icon isn't drifting too far away from, from the text box. So I just want to move that to the right a bit, move this one to the left a bit. I think this, I think these two look good where it stands already. I'm going to color in these little icons here. One, two, three, four. All right, perfect. Now we're done with all the inserts. Now it's just a matter of laying out the slide and make sure the layout's perfect. So what we're going to do is we are just going to uh, highlight everything here, all the text boxes. We're going to make sure that these two guys are grouped up. Yep, they are. And what we're going to do is go to arrange, align, align, middle, just like that. Press group and then arrange, align, align, middle again. And boom, that's it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look at this, right? I promise you, under 10 minutes, you can get something just like this. Just like this. Just like this. And this beats almost 95% of the slides out there. 95% easily, easily beats it, right? Um, and if you are more prone to the whole professional sort of scene, you know, you can't really have creative slides like this. Oh boy, do I have a surprise for you. I'm gonna about to blow your mind. If Honestly, you cannot use images and, and, you, and you cannot sort of um, play around with all these artsy-farsy techniques. Just go for something like this. We can just delete this. We can delete this. We can make the text gray. Done. Already, you can already see, right? That's it. That's all you need to do. And that already looks better, right? With or without the image, it already looks better. So. 
You take your pick. You want to be professional, you can go for something like this. You want to be creative, you can go for something like this. It's all up to you. And that is the beauty of PowerPoint. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, then please, please, please do like, do share, do comment, and do subscribe. I really appreciate your support. I will see you guys next week. This is Yo-Yo signing off. Bye-bye.